cut doom on the face of the earth. The last thing to fit was the mask. What is going on guys, it's Bore here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing great. Happy quarantine. Hope everybody is at home staying safe. I was gonna say happy COVID-19. That is messed up. Anyways, hope you guys are great. As promised, we will be doing the entire vintage t-shirt collection. Right before I get into that video, I just really wanted to thank every single person for being active on the previous video. It's kind of felt that way and I really wanted to just do a video for you guys talking about how I felt about you know just owning a lot and decluttering in 2020 and i'm quite surprised that that sentiment is really resonating with you guys and a lot of people dropped their own comments and you know just how they felt about the whole situation so right off the bat you know one time for you guys thank you and with all that being said let's talk about my 40 plus item vintage t-shirt collection i'm kind of contradicting myself when it comes to that video i'm like oh the past video is like i'm so tired of clothes you know i'm gonna be decluttering next video 40 plus t-shirts in my collection. I am a walking contradiction. But when it comes to vintage tees, like I don't have a problem selling like shoes or like pants or like other clothing, but I just have that special bond when it comes to t-shirts. I don't know, man. It's, it's really hard for me. I've been downsizing, but it's just really a little bit challenging to let a lot go. I'm gonna get there, but we're gonna be keeping all these t-shirts. All right, so we have a bunch of t-shirts to go over. So it's gonna be a pretty long video. You know, sit back, relax, get your popcorn, your iced tea. Let's get this thing popping. Let's go. First, we're gonna jump over to like music tees. Then we'll go to sports. And at the end, we'll just do like all the random t-shirts. So at least this video is a little bit more structured when it comes to, you know, just kind of showcasing the pieces. And you cannot start a video without talking about jazz. And right here we have the jazz t-shirts. First right here we have is Miles Davis and the second t-shirt is John Coltrane. These are arguably the greatest jazz musicians of all time and, and this pair of t-shirts are definitely one of my favorites. As you can see, it's a very simple one. It just kind of has the white and black profile of Miles Davis. It kind of has like his signature in the bottom. This one has John Coltrane on the side profile and his name on the bottom. And both t-shirts are from Fruit of the Loom. I'm not entirely sure if it's the specific company making these type of t-shirts as they look pretty much the same. The washes are beautiful. They're not as washed as I wanted it to be, but beautiful t-shirts nonetheless. Jazz tees, ya boy, talking about jazz club. Let's jump over to our next set of t-shirts. All right, so continuing on, we will be doing t-shirts individually. And starting off right here, we have the vintage Tupac Shakur tee. It's like the wrap bootleg t-shirt. I remember showcasing this off in the streetwear video and it is such a banger. There's multiple holes and things around, but I really just love the character. It's paper thin, there isn't any tag, like the tag is like super washed out, but I just love the print. And flipping the t-shirt over, as you can see the cracked prints, Tupac with the only God can judge me. I remember back in the day, like every like girl who had that tattoo, like that tramp stamp, and basically had like babies at 16, had the only God can judge me tattoo. <laughs> Whatever, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the t-shirt. It's really nice. Bunch of people ask me like, yo, are you selling it? I will never sell this t-shirt. Matter of fact, I have a crazy story when it comes to this tee and like a bunch of other rap tees. When we were moving houses in Queens, the previous owner had left his cabinet there. And you know, moving into a new house, you wanna really empty everything. So my dad was kind of like throwing out all the leftover furniture and there was the cupboard with a bunch of bootleg rap tees. I'll show you how this one, I have the Michael Jackson, I have the Snoop Dogg, I have the Bob Marley. We all found that in like a cupboard. So major win when it comes to these rap tees, beautiful t-shirt. Let's jump over to our next one. All right, so this one is just, you know, really a simple Bob Marley tee. I really like the color of it. The wash has more of like a yellowish look to it. And uh, I think this is not too, too old. The tag says Zion Rootswear. To my knowledge, it's more of like a newer, I don't wanna say newer, but like from the early 2000s. The print is cool, you know, Bob Marley. What I do for this specific t-shirt, I just really flip it over because I like the yellowish eggshell look to it. So I just flip it over and wear it like that. But from time to time, I really like to just kind of wear the tee showing the Bob Marley print on it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to fly through these t-shirts since we have a lot. And I don't want this video to be a whole hour. So we're gonna really 
go through the t-shirts real quick. All right, jumping over to our next one. This was in the pile of the Tupac tees. And right here we have that vintage Snoop Deal Double G t-shirt with the American flag. The wash on this is immaculate. It's paper thin. Once again, the tags have just been like washed out. So I don't really know what company or brand this is from. And the back piece, guys. The back piece right here. I wish this back piece was in the front. I'm not, like, I love this image right here, but this right here, oh my goodness. So, so good. Print is cracked. You know, we have that Snoop Dogg. Ugh. I absolutely love this t-shirt to pieces. And, uh, you know, it fits real nice. You know, it's really paper thin once again. So it's just like very flowy on the body and definitely one of my favorites from my entire collection. All right, another t-shirt from that mysterious cupboard. Right here we have the Michael Jackson. So this is 90s Michael. Transition, I think he fully transitioned. And yeah, this is this is a beautiful t-shirt, just Michael Jackson. I don't know, if I were to kind of, you know, guess, I think the person that we got it from was bootlegging t-shirts because I have multiples of this tee, multiples of the Tupac and multiples of the Snoop Dogg. I'm not selling them by the way, do not ask me. I'm just really keeping them, uh, you know, for myself. I kind of plastic them. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm just gonna keep them. And the back piece of this tee right here is so good. The king of pop, just the colors, and once again, the fade and just the fit. I think all of these t-shirts are a size XL as they fit, you know, more or less the same. It's a little bit big on me, but I don't mind having a little bit more of a flowy, more of a longer t-shirt when it comes to my vintage tees. So I don't really mind. Right here we have the MJ Michael Jackson t-shirt. All right, so jumping over to our next tee, we just have the, you know, Bob Marley once again. This one is really, really cracked. I remember finding this at the thrift store. And the tag, once again, this is from Zion Rootswear. So like I said earlier, this is more of a newer brand. The t-shirt is a little bit heavy. You know, it kind of fits weird on the body, but I just really like the prints. Super cracked and on the back it just says, Bob Marley with like a nice cursive font. Really, really nice tee. Nothing too special with this. There's no date or nothing. Oh yeah, there is a date. 2003, so yeah, 2003. I would say that 2003 is considered vintage that we're in like 2020, so. Bob Marley t-shirt, let's keep it moving. This one is the Biggie Brooklyn t-shirt, the Notorious Big. This kind of has that classic Biggie picture in the front. The colors is really nice, brown and yellowish kind of colors. The tag is from Brooklyn Mint. This one, it kind of feels like a newer t-shirt, like the Zion one. It doesn't really feel too old in my opinion, uh, but it has a beautiful fade to it. You know, it's really flowy. And the back just, you know, plain back. Front image is so good. You know, that classic Biggie. This one, I remember finding this at the thrift store for I think like two bucks. So major win when it comes to finding this B-I-G-T. Let's keep it moving. All right, so this one is the last one that we had found in the cupboard. I think this is like in the worst shape as like the arms are just all messed up. It's paper, paper thin. This has Bob Marley, Ziggy Marley, so that's his son. Beautiful tee. The fit of this is a little bit too big for me, but nonetheless, I'm keeping this in my collection. And on the back just says Ziggy Marley. It is so, so good. I. Guys, you know, nowadays, like a lot of brands are like recreating their own type of vintage t-shirts. But in my personal opinion, you cannot get this look and feel. My goodness, it's so, so good. It's you know, super overwashed, really, really baggy, as you can see. And the print, the colors are just immaculate. This tag right here is visible. The brand is called Evans. So if you guys want to check that up, um, Evans t-shirt is the first time I'd encounter a tee like this. But such a beautiful print and the color absolutely gorgeous. So jumping over to our next tee right here, we have that classic Tupac. And my favorite thing about this is that it has two sides. So right here, as you guys can see, it's fully grayscaled and the front part has the full color. And at the bottom just kind of has like a coat of Tupac with the nice, you know, side profile. And you know, the wash is really nice. The brand of this one is called Red rock of the t-shirts if you guys are interested once again but i really love this piece it flows real nice you know it's really starting to thin out when it comes to you know the material of it when it comes to tupac t-shirts 
I'm so used to seeing like those bootleg wrap tees, but for something like this, you know, it was really the first time I encounter it. So definitely had to pick this up. I absolutely love this tee. All right, so jumping over to next t-shirt. This is the Billy Joel and Elton John summer of 94 tour. You know, it just kind of has like the tour dates on the bottom. And as you guys can see, it has, you know, Elton John. I'm like making sure I'm pointing at the right person. We've got Elton John with like his glasses. You can see like the British flag and jumping over to Billy Joel, we have the American flag. I'm not gonna lie here and be like, oh, I listened to Elton John and Billy Joel. I was fortunate enough to find this at the thrift store for a couple dollars. You know, I don't know how you guys feel. How do you feel about the whole like, you have to know the band to own the t-shirt. Like, I don't really care. Like, to me, like, the thing that really catches my eye is the prints and, like, just the image in the front. To me, like, not knowing the band is not really a problem. Um, a lot of people just get angry when people's like, oh, I don't know the band, or, like, I'm wearing a Metallica t-shirt and not know any songs from Metallica. Bro, like, why are you mad? Like, why are you mad that somebody's wearing a Metallica t-shirt? Like, to me, like, if you're worried about that, like, you just have a problem, because I don't care. Like, you know, obviously, like I said, I don't listen to Billy Joel and Elton John like that, but, you know, the t-shirt is nice. I really like the print on it. Summer of 94, super cool. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now that we are fully done with music tees, let's jump over to sports. And starting off with our very first tee right here, we have the vintage Atlanta 9096 Olympics tee. This one is from my boy. I'm gonna link his Instagram down below. He has like a vintage shop where he sells a bunch of items. But as soon as I saw this from his store, I definitely had to have it. So nice, and it just has like a bunch of paint splatters right off the bat. I think the first thing you notice is just the, all the paint splatters on it, and the print is quite faded. It has a bunch of distressing details across the neck. It's kind of ripped here, you know, it's very paper thin, but nonetheless, I still love this tee. In the back, there's no prints at all. More or less paint splatters here. One of my favorites, like as of late, I've just been wearing this quite a lot and every time I wear it outside, people ask me questions about it. And yeah, beautiful t-shirt. The Atlanta Olympics from 96. Let's keep it moving. All right, so when I first started collecting vintage t-shirts, the first items that I was picking up was a bunch of like vintage Raiders gear. You know, when it comes to like starter jackets, vintage snapbacks and t-shirts. And right here we have the Tasmanian Devil x raiders and it's such a nice tee like i really love the print on this it kind of has like an x-ray so you guys can see he's like inside and uh, yeah just like the oakland raiders like memorabilia like i think in my opinion oakland raiders or you know los angeles raiders had the best sports gear in the 90s like late 80s and early 90s i just love the colors man silver black you can't go wrong with that and yeah, so this t-shirt is beautiful right here. And you know, the print is really, really cracked. I think the year right here is from 1995. And it's just really like the back piece of this. Like, so you get it in the front and the back is right here. All right, so kind of staying into that Raiders circle, I have two t-shirts right here. The first one we have is just like the Raiders helmet. The logo is very cracked and, you know, washed out. I think you can barely see the writing here, but it just says Oakland Raiders. You know, once again, washed out in my collection i have so many washed out t-shirts and now i'm really looking to buy like you know that white or like yellowish tee continue on with this one you know once again just that simple raiders with the raiders logo in the front all right so last t-shirt when it comes to los angeles or oakland raiders gear we just kind of have that raiders tee once again with the rainbow logo in kind of like the stomach area print is cracked washed out as always can't go wrong Let's keep it moving. All right, so jumping over to our next t-shirt right here, we have the Vintage Sting tee. I showed this, I think, in, I'm not sure if it's the previous one, but the one beforehand. And this one was purchased at a little thrifting event they had in Chinatown. So I picked this one up. I picked up a Chicago Bulls, which I will show you guys later. But guys, Sting, Stinger from WCW, if you guys are a fan of 90s wrestling. I don't know, lately, like during this whole quarantine season, I've just been watching like WWF and like WCW tapes. I'm not really a big fan of like the new wrestling and I'm kind of corny, but man, if you go to like the Attitude Era and Raw and like, you know, once again, WCW, fire. This T right here, oh my goodness, man. Sting, like I said in the other video, I need a t-shirt when he has like the white face paint. I've just been finding tees with the red one and uh, yeah, so 
Nonetheless, fire t-shirt, the wash is immaculate, fits like a glove, it's super paper thin. Let's see if there's a tag here. The tag says, uh, what does it say? Tour Champ, Tour Champ. All these 90s brands I have no clue about. Like the only ones I know is, you know, Fruit of the Loom and we have um, like the Hanes Beefy Tees. But when it comes to these brands like Tour Champ, not sure, but really nice tee. And the year of this is 1996. No, 1998, sorry. Yeah, 1998. So beautiful tee, Sting, WCW. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now we are jumping over to basketball t-shirts and you cannot be in New York City without owning a vintage New York Knicks tee. This one is manufactured by Starter. And the thing that I noticed about this t-shirt compared to every other one that I have is that this feels significantly heavier. So the weight of this is really thick. And you know, just kind of has that nice vintage New York Knicks logo, the Knicks on top. You know, it's really nice, washed out once again with the starter patch on the sleeve. And uh, yeah, nothing on the back, really simple. Let's keep it moving. Right here is one of my favorite t shirts, and I think I showcased this in my very first pickups video. And right here, this is the Orlando Magic's vintage tee. And guys, the print on this is so good. As you can see inside, there's like the wizard with the kind of like the basketball. And on the back, it just has the Orlando Magic with like the shoes and kind of like the wizard, I think like playing basketball or something. And this one is manufactured from, what brand is it? Nutmeg? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, really nice tee. Has a bunch of holes and distressings all over it. Paper thin as always and a really nice basketball tee. All right, so right here we have the classic Chicago Bulls 96 championship t-shirt. And as you guys can see, you know, Phil Jackson, Scottie Pippen, you know, Dennis Rodman, and obviously Michael Jordan. It has the Z logo on the bottom, it has the championship rings. And my favorite part of this entire t-shirt has to be the back piece. Oh my goodness. So it says, NBA World Champions, it has, the, it has the Bulls logo, and as you can see, you know, just Michael Jordan crying. This is like an iconic picture, and it says 91, 92, 93, and 96. My goodness. This is one of my favorite basketball, or like even t-shirts of all time. I just really love just Bulls memorabilia, once again, for basketball absolutely beautiful and the back piece is what got it for me all right so jumping over to our next t-shirt right here we have the vintage detroit pistons my goodness do you guys remember this detroit pistons logo this is one of the nicest basketball logos like ever and we have the vintage grant hill my goodness the colors on this is really nice it's like kind of like a greenish it's like a green bluish and it has like the Grant Hill profile and him kind of dribbling the ball. Detroit Pistons and beautiful t-shirt. Let me see the tag, no tags on this one. The wash is really nice and it fits like a glove. And guys, that Detroit Piston, this is once again, one of my favorite, like basketball logos of the 90s were so, so cool. I remember the Memphis Grizzlies one was so, the Vancouver Grizzlies, it wasn't even Memphis, it was Vancouver Grizzlies logo. And this one too, man, Detroit Pistons, fire. So jumping over to our next Chicago Bulls tee. This one was purchased at the little thrift event they had in Chinatown once again. And the wash, like you can see it's super yellow. It kind of has like armpit stains, it's kind of disgusting, but I don't really mind it. Um, but the yellowing on this is so good. I'm not sure if the light really catches it. And the print, just really Jordan kind of shooting the ball. Right here, Michael Jordan. You can't go wrong with a Jordan t-shirt. So when the summer hits, if we're able to go outside, like when it comes to me dressing up, I pretty much live in vintage t-shirts and like ripped denims and, and that's it. Like I don't really dress when it comes to summertime. That's the reason why I have so many vintage tees because I really just like change them out every day. Uh, but yeah, this one, beautiful Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, nothing on the back and the yellowing on this is immaculate. All right, so I forgot about this t-shirt. It is once again, the Chicago Bulls. And this one has more of like a, kind of like a shiny print. I'm not sure if you can see too much from far, but it kind of has like that, um, I don't want to say rhinestone, but it's like really shiny. And yeah, just Chicago Bulls. I think this one is from Starter too. 
starter and so this t-shirt pretty much feels exactly the same as the new york knicks one i showed you earlier really heavy weight and uh just the print is really nice you know classic chicago bulls and it has like a more like rhinestone-y type of look I'm sure if the camera catches it but when you're looking at it it just like really kind of shines back really nice tee let's jump over to like i guess the random t-shirts that i just have laying around now that we did music and sports all right so right here we have a set of harley davidson t-shirts I'm not too, too big when it comes to, you know, owning a bunch of Harley Davidson, like memorabilia, but these t-shirts specifically really caught my eye. The wash on this is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a charcoal gray compared to this one. I think you can kind of see the difference and the print on it. It just has like that classic, like 1950s, um, how, what do you call those girls? Like a pinup girl on the motorcycle and on the back, it kind of says Chandler Harley Davidson really really nice the wash is so good like if you compare this to like just the background here you can see that this is really washed and um once again paper thin very very flowy and for the second t-shirt right here we have the harley davidson but it kind of has like that brick back and it reminds me of the street fighter 2 like i don't know if you guys had the super nintendo version of street fighter 2 but it kind of reminded me of like the background of it and uh, yeah, just the motorcycle in the back and on the back, it just has like that, I guess that like vinyl or like that neon lighting with the Harley Davidson print on the bottom. I'm not the biggest fan of like NASCAR or Harley Davidson things, but these are the only two t-shirts that I own. All right, so jumping over to our next tee, this is not a Harley Davidson or anything. It just says Laconia and it has like that sexy, I guess 90s looking girl with the blonde hair on the bike and it just says bike week 96 really nice t-shirt on the back it just says laconia once again with like the white and black and it says bike week 96 i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna lie the first thing i caught my eye was this girl riding the bike so badass it's like super 90s when it has like you know the what do you call those i don't know what you call those but like in every 90s movie the girl had that like thing on anyways movie you guys know what movie i'm talking about anyways uh, so yeah, really nice t-shirt, um, and uh, this one is heavy. This is from Food of the Loom, so it kind of fits exactly like the Miles Davis and um, the John Coltrane tee, but the print on this is really nice, and once again, summertime, pretty much for vintage t-shirts. So jumping over to one of the more recent t-shirts I picked up, this was the last item I picked up at the Canal Street Thrift event, and this is just the, I guess, Malcolm X t-shirt. And it has World Peacemaker with the Malcolm X here. Really nice. It has like a yellowish look to it. Similar to that Chicago Bulls tee. And yeah, just really that print. There's nothing, nothing too crazy about this t-shirt, but the print really caught my eye. And this will definitely be worn during the summer season. So now I'm pretty much done owning like the charcoal black t-shirts. I have to really look for more of the white eggshell yellowish tees. And this one is definitely one of my favorites. This one right here. I think this one is my favorite t-shirt in my collection right now is the OJ Simpson tee. Right here, you guys can see the killer OJ Simpson, which is OJ Simpson and the back free OJ. <laughs> Let the juice go. So this was, you know, if you guys know about this, but OJ was pretty much running from the cops. It was like a huge televised event. And I think it was like the caravan he was driving. Every time I wore this t-shirt, People are just like looking at it and they laugh because they know OJ Simpson and they know about this whole situation that happened back in the 90s. So OJ Simpson t-shirt, I think this is my favorite tee in my collection. It's really nice paper thin and it flows real nice. So I'll definitely be wearing this throughout the whole summer season. Seinfeld, if you guys are fans of sitcoms, you guys know Seinfeld. Best, in my opinion, sitcom of all time. I know a lot of people come at me with the whole friends and nah, we're not talking about friends. We talk about Seinfeld and right here, just, you know, the regular logo Seinfeld in gray. The brand is from Stanley DeSantis. I don't know which brand is this, but I guess in the nineties, there are so many different t-shirt brands and people were just kind of putting their logos on it. And right here, the t-shirt is from 1994. And just really that simple Seinfeld. Hopefully I can find the Kramer tee. I've seen a Kramer tee a while back, but I was just fetching for a lot. Um, but this is just the, the clean Seinfeld logo. All right, so this one too was from my boy. I picked it up at his store. 
And this is the Malcolm X tee. As you guys can see, we got the Malcolm X crew neck. This one's similar to the Chicago Bulls tee and uh, the other Malcolm X t-shirt has the yellowish look to it. And you're simply just the Malcolm X on the side and the front profile of Malcolm X. Really, really nice. I cannot wait to wear this in the summertime. It has like the stressing on the neck and you know, just a little bit around the t-shirt. Beautiful tee, shout out to my boy for hooking it up. And uh, yeah, so really nice t-shirt, Malcolm X. Let's keep it moving. All right, so jumping over to our next set of t-shirts. I've really been looking into buying more comic book tees, but right here we have the vintage Wolverine t-shirt. My goodness, look how good this is. Like you cannot, they don't make t-shirts like this anymore with that big Marvel print here. It just says Wolverine. This one is from 1993. And this one is the entire X-Men. Like as somebody who loves and still does read comics, comic book day every Wednesday. Anyways, yeah, so I still love reading comic books. And right here you have the whole gang. You got Bishop, Wolverine, Gambit. He was my favorite. I had My favorite was Gambit and Cyclops. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. So we got the whole team here. And you know, has like a little, I guess, column with the little profiles on it. The wash on it is really nice and the color is more of like a yellowish as I like it. Really nice t-shirt. This just unfortunately fits a little bit weird on me. I'm not sure if I gotta if I gotta stretch it out or something like that, but it just kind of has like a weird shape. But nonetheless, such a beautiful t-shirt. Last but not least, right here we have the Simpsons t-shirt. The whole family. This is from I believe 1989 or something like that. Yeah, this is from 1989 and uh, washed out print, really nice, super distressed on the neck and all over as you guys can see. And the way to know like vintage like Simpson t-shirts is just look at like what Bart is wearing. So if Bart is wearing a blue t-shirt, you know right off the bat it is a vintage Simpsons tee and uh, really, really nice. And on the flip side, there is the beautiful Simpson family portrait. Obviously, Homer is choking out Bart as always. It just has a really nice print to it. Their faces look quite different. So like when they first had the Simpsons, the, the like face shape and everything looked quite different to like the current, you know, look of the Simpsons. But really nice tee. Really, really love this. You know, it's paper thin once again, distressing as always. And uh, yeah, so, all right. So for the very last t-shirt, we're gonna kind of cheat for this one. This isn't vintage, but I really wanted to put it in this video. I'm gonna link the website and his Instagram down below, but the homie was kind enough to send me this in memory of Kobe Bryant t-shirt, and it is absolutely beautiful. He did drop it in two different colorways, and he had like the black one and white one. This one isn't white, it kinda has like that yellowish vintage look, which I love. And I'm quite surprised of the quality of this. It feels really nice and substantial. It's really, really heavy. And I know for a fact he didn't just go get a Gildan tee. This is like cut and sewn. He added his own logo, like the smiley basketball. And he has like the McDowell's. If you guys are fans of coming to America, you know McDowell's. And right here, beautiful Kobe Bryant tee. Oh my God, I can't wait for this tee to really age and you know, kind of start getting character. But right now, it is so, so nice. I'm not sure of the availability of this t-shirt at the moment. I think he sold out, but he will be restocking in the near future. So I'm gonna link his website down below, his Instagram, and you guys can kind of ask some questions and uh, things pertaining to this t-shirt. But I just really wanted to include it as, it kind of has that like vintage t-shirt look with you know, a bunch of you know Kobe Bryant moments. You guys can see him Duncan here is like the picture where he has like all the medals. And uh, yeah, so really, really nice. I don't think he's making any money from this. He really told me that he wanted to just put out this t-shirt as his thank you to Kobe Bryant. And he's he's selling them for quite cheap. He's not trying to like make a whole buck out of this whole release and making some money off Kobe Bryant's death. Um, but yeah, really, really nice t-shirt. I'm gonna link his website and all that below. Thank you. All right, so we are done with the vintage tees. Thank you, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire video. It was quite long, but nonetheless, Hope you guys had a great time watching my entire vintage tea collection. And uh, yes, I have a bunch of ideas for videos I can kind of do in the house. Um, the next one I want to do is perhaps a like subscriber outfit. And after that, I wanted to do a like Jordan one video. So if you guys wanted to see that, 
definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm just really trying to do videos that I can film at the crib without really going outside. And I'm really trying to push uh, more videos for you guys while you guys are all quarantined at the crib and you guys have more entertainment to watch while, you know, just, you know, waiting it out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Let's jump over to our outro. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Man, this is a long one. I feel like I need water. I've been talking for like the past 40 minutes that's on the camera. And um, yeah, so as always, follow your boy on Instagram at Mia. Fit pic, mood board, sneaker pictures, all that good stuff. Hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions or whatever. Yes, I'm out of breath. I need to go get some Gatorade or some water. We out of here. Gotta edit this video. See you guys next time. Peace.